Exactly on May 5th, I started a brand new Instagram page with the sole intention of uploading only AI generated content. I set a timeline of three to four months to at least achieve 10,000 followers, but what happened next blew my mind. I surpassed this number within 21 days. My account grew to 127,000 followers and 5.7 million likes. This account generated well over $30,000 in my very first month. AI made me a money printing machine. Instagram is changing. Instagram is optimizing itself to this rise of AI. It is pushing more and more AI content, and this opportunity cannot be missed. In this video, you will learn exactly the necessary steps I took to achieve those numbers, be it technical or psychological. All right, let's begin. On the 5th of May, I created a brand new Instagram account with hopes of going viral just by using AI. But things went wild after I posted my first reel. Whatever I was posting on the account straight went viral. Never in my life I have ever seen something like this. This just solidifies the claim that AI is here to stay. It will change the world in every way possible. What seemed fairly low value content became a gold mine for me generating thousands of dollars within two months. This can all be replicated with ease and is something you can tap into too. It's an opportunity that can't be missed. I will go into deep details, so worry not, everything will be covered. Well, the first step is to pick a niche for your Instagram account. Now there is an infinite pool of niches to pick from, but here are two most important factors to consider while picking a niche. First is whether your niche is suitable for AI. Your niche should be around the topics on which AI is most powerful. Niches like entertainment will not work, as we all know how poor ChatGPT jokes are. The second is profitability. We are doing this for money, right? But if the niche I picked has zero transactional value, then it's of no use. You must ensure that the niche you pick ticks these two boxes, but even sorting out niches that specifically fulfill these two criteria is hard, for which I use ChatGPT here. Here is the exact prompt I used to pick my niche. Now I actually already showed this in one of my previous videos, but I have re-engineered the prompt this time to make it more specific and make the AI come up with ideas with the highest AI usage while also having a high money making opportunity. Here LTV means the lifetime value of a customer or in this case, our page followers and CLV means customer lifetime value. It means how much a user will bring value to your business during their lifetime. These two metrics are crucial and will decide how much you earn from your page. Here's a quick explanation. Imagine owning two pages, one dedicated to memes with 500,000 followers and the other focused on dental diseases with 2,000 followers. Now, consider which one would likely bring in more revenue. Surprisingly, it's the dental page that holds the potential to generate substantial earnings ranging from $5,000 to $15,000 a month, something that meme page can't even come close to. This phenomenon is known as target marketing. While the meme page appeals to a broad audience of varying ages and interests, the dental page strategically caters exclusively to individuals with dental issues seeking solutions. By providing content that addresses their concerns, a strong emotional connection is established, a vital factor for success and monetization. The world operates on emotions, and the more effectively you connect with your audience, the more trust you build, making it easier to convert them into paying customers. All right, enough talk. Here is the list of results the ChatGPT generated. Pick one of the niches you like and ask the bot for a more specific sub-niche of that category because remember, the more targeted the audience is, easier it is for you to make money from them. Now I already have picked a good niche for myself in the previous video of mine on long distance relationships. My reasoning for selecting this niche is that it has a large but very specific audience and the average LTV of a user in this space is generally high. This type of content gets a lot of shares on Instagram. If the reel is shown to one of the partners, then it is almost guaranteed that he or she will share it with their lovers too. It kind of builds a free marketing strategy and doubles the pace of virality. So here's my strategy. I will be making long distance relation quote reels. I will create some sort of movie or AI generated love quotes using an AI voice generator, then put some images and music over it. Here is an example. It's simple to generate, yes, but it gets a huge amount of engagement and that is exactly what I want. All right, the next step for us is to create the images using an AI. 
But here's the thing I realized. Most AI tools either charge money or the ones that don't either do not create good images or it's very hard to install and run like Stable Diffusion. So to keep my content completely relevant to all of my viewers, I dropped the idea of generating images using AI. It felt like a barrier to me that many people were experiencing. Instead, to get the images from my reels, I used Pinterest. But yes, those who can afford the mid-journey or other such paid tools, go for it. It's totally worth it. So, head over to Pinterest and search for your niche. I want my images to have an oil painting style to give them a more aesthetic old-style love feel, so I will put that keyword too. Instantly, thousands of results come up. Click on any of the images you like and click on download. Download at least 8 to 10 similar images. Now, many of you might be concerned about copyright infringement, given that you're downloading someone else's images. However, rest assured, you're in the clear in this aspect. You're not simply downloading and uploading these images. You're adding your own creative touch to them to provide value. This falls under the umbrella of fair use according to copyright law. Alright, now I need to generate a quote for my reel. Here either I can use some movie or book quotes directly or ask ChatGPT. So I thought, why not ask ChatGPT to directly quote some good love quotes from books as the AI is trained using millions of books already? A simple prompt like this is enough to generate some good prompts. Okay, here are these, and I really like a few of them. It is perfect. The next step is to generate the AI voice. For this, I use an AI called Eleven Labs. It is capable of generating almost human-like voices, and the best part is that it's entirely free. It gives you 10,000 characters of free voice generation per month, which is more than enough. Once logged in, copy and paste the quote from ChatGPT. Here in this section, you have the option of picking different voices. I will pick something deep, as I feel a deep male voice in my niche will create a bigger impact. Hit generate. Within 30 seconds, the voiceover will be ready. Download the voiceover, and we will be ready to move to our next step. Now we need to put all the elements we collected into one single video. For this, I will use Canva. It's free and easy to use, and even the paid plans are cheap. Head over to Canva and here search for TikTok. Click on the TikTok video, go to the upload section, and upload the voiceover and the images. In the upper corner, change this 5 seconds to 3 seconds. It will make every image will be shown only for 3 seconds. This step is very important because having a scene cut in every 3 seconds intervals hooks the viewer, and I'm not bluffing. It has been well tested and proved that videos having more frequent scene cuts grabs people's attention and leads to more average view duration and ultimately making the algorithm push your video more. Now, I cannot teach you how to edit your video on Canva because we are time restricted. However, you can watch this video to learn how to edit your videos properly. This is what my final video looks like. The rain have their ocean and the sun has its moon. Everything needs a reason for falling and I have you. All right, the video is ready to be uploaded. Uploading two videos a day will be a good start, but do not try to overdo it. As then, the algorithm will mark your account as a spam account and you will get shadow banned. If done correctly, then there is a chance that even your first upload goes viral because it happened to me. The very first video that I uploaded got 1 million views and 115,000 likes. This was a record for me. In all of my social media journey, I have never seen this type of explosion unless you were a celebrity. This shows just how powerful AI is and how Instagram is silently preferring this type of video and this makes sense. These types of videos are easy to make, but the viewers love them. And the average share count tells the story ultimately making Instagram more money. Now, one of the most asked questions that I get is how to make money from all this. Well, there are infinite ways, but the one that is my personal favorite is drop shipping. I know, I know, it is too saturated and everything, but hear me out. Drop shipping still works and you don't need expensive ads to get profitable. I proved this in this video of mine where I was able to get profitable with a brand new Shopify dropshipping store within 24 hours with literally zero dollars. My niche is about relationships and love, so I can create a store selling items around the same niche. Just ask ChatGPT what to sell and it will give you some pretty solid ideas. Put your store link in the bio and every once in a while make a video and story promoting the product. You are almost guaranteed to make sales because your niche is highly targeted. Remember I told you specific niche results and higher portability? Well, this is where that step comes into play. What type of niche you pick defines your profitability overall? Well, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you found the video valuable.